Let's have an example about the rectangular components of a force. So let's have here my rectangular axis x and y. So I have uh, x and y axis. And let's have here a force which is 30 newtons. Okay, it's a 30 newton force. Uh, okay. And the angle it makes with the x axis is let's have 35 degrees. Okay. Now we are required to find the x and y component. So we are required to find f sub x and f sub y. Okay. Now first uh, I know that it's a perp it's a rectangular axis. It they are perpendicular with each other. So if this is 35, then the other one should be 90 minus 35, which is uh, equal to 55 degrees. So this is 55 degrees. Now I'm ready to, to get the rectangular components. Uh, I have f sub x is equal to 30 cosine of 35 degrees so it's the force cosine of the angle towards that axis so we have uh -huh. we have 30 cosine 35 that is f sub x which is equal to 24.57 newtons and similarly for the so y component we have 30 cosine of 55 degrees or f sub x is equal to or f sub y f sub y should be equal to 17.21 newtons okay so let me box up these answers that's my answer for this example let's let's try another example Let's have here uh, my y and x axis. Okay, this is the x and this is the y axis. This time my force, uh, my force is pointing towards the origin, and it, it it's in the second quadrant. So let's let's have here my force pointing towards the origin in the second quadrant. Uh, let's say this is 15 newtons, so 15 newton force, and the angle that it makes with the x axis, okay, this angle here, let's say that this is 120 degrees. Okay, and again, the arrow is telling us where the components will point. So, for this one, it's, it's not really a problem because. Uh, it, it points away from the origin and so the components uh, would be pointing away from the origin. It, this is the X component and this is the Y component and they are both positive so uh, everything is okay. But this time, it's, it's not really pointing away from the origin, it's pointing somewhere else. And uh, we want to consider that the direction of the, the components. Now let's let's have here the angles. If this is 120 degrees, then the ang the angle that the force makes with the x-axis should be this angle, which is uh, this is equal to 60 degrees. Okay, 60. So it's it's a line. So 180 degrees minus 120 is 60 degrees, and the angle that it it makes with the y-axis should be 121 minus 90. So this angle should be equal to 30 degrees okay now continuing with our solution for the components we have f sub x is equal to 50 cosine of the angle towards the x-axis which is 60 degrees and this comes out as uh, equal to 25 newtons and f sub y is 50 
times the cosine of the angle towards the y-axis, which is 30 degrees. And this comes out as uh, 43.3 newtons. And remember, we are dealing with, with vectors, so forces are vectors and directions are important. Uh, the x component would be this one, and it will point to the right, which is our positive direction for x. So f of x is a positive a component. It's 25 newtons to the right. Okay. And fy, it points downward, so it would be pointing downward. So the component would be pointing downward. So should have been a negative. So Fy is a negative 43.3 newtons. Negative means it's downward. So, or we can write here, or it's 43.3 newtons pointing downward. So again, uh, these are the answers for, for this example.